back to part two and in this episode we're going to be putting that actual frame together so um for the dead cat there actually doesn't come any instructions so the only guide i have is the official sk450 instructions but that is actually no help the only thing that shows is how to put on the legs and the little plates so uh you know we're kind of working with what we know so i've done a little bit of googling and i got a couple of pictures so I uh, think I know the basics. So I won't show my assembly yet because 52 little screws will take all day. So basically the, step, the first step we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom plate. We're going to get each of the four legs. And we're just going to screw them onto each, uh, bolt them onto each corner of the frame here. Just move it down a little. See, you can see that in the shot. So yeah, we'll be screwing all those uh, in from the bottom and then once we do that, we'll be getting the top here and we'll be screwing that on there. So I'll go ahead and I'll get all this screwed together and uh, we'll come back and we'll do the rest. Just a quick little tip when you're uh, assembling it. Uh, you'd be best to put a little bit of Loctite or... Uh, you know, thread lock or anything, just on your uh, little bit of your bolts, because one thing you don't want is these uh, eventually vibrating off uh, when you're in the air. So just apply a little amount, doesn't need to be too much, just to, and continue screwing on and it will prevent them from falling out. Alright guys, now that I, I have all the legs secured to the, the bottom base and the top thing, uh, I am uh, going to install the little plates onto these. You can install those at the start either, it doesn't matter what order you do them in. So I'm just going to install those on there now, and then we'll move on to the legs. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, with the little plates on the motors uh, successfully mounted, that's the main frame. So, last uh, bit of adding on we're going to do is a little stance so I'm just gonna go around now and uh, apply each one of these like so and screw them in so let's get going all right guys so once uh, all the motor mounts the legs and the center pieces are all you know all tightened up you want to uh, get this piece from the SK450 kit. I actually thought we didn't need parts from the SK450 kit but yeah this is necessary for the top. I think it holds your control board and stuff. So um, what you want for that is a little kit with the uh, the M3s in it and that has also has a little stilts in the packet so that's with the SK450 so you want to get those and you want to place them on the top here. So this is the back of the quadcopter here so as you can see there's a little hole here, you don't put it in that, you put it in the slider with this long crack here. I just want to put it at the very end of that. These can be adjusted using these holes and these sliders for your CG. But I'm just going to put them in from the, from the farthest back. So uh, then you put this one, the second one in this line, just the very bottom of it. You just pull toward it, towards it. Oh. I'll just hold it level. Pop in there. And the next one's in the last hole here. Now you can do this according to your own CG. But uh, I'm just going to pop them in here for now. Uh, once that's done, let's get this panel. And now these should all be... Uh, they should all be level. Put it back. And yeah, they're all lined up okay. So now you get the little, uh, little screws. You will need a screwdriver for this part. And... I just want to screw them down onto the, the plastic. Don't over tighten these as it is into plastic. So just holding the little thing, you want to tighten that down. And make sure it's all the way back. I'll just do two of these to uh, secure them for the first time. Should be a bit there. I 
so I just tighten the top plate into the little plastic uh, things down here. So now you want to get the nuts, the M3 nuts for them, and these are going to go down in here under this plate and joint onto that. So this is like a bit of a harder step. So you, know, you can fit away at this yourself. You can use a pair of pliers to hold it, or if you have a little spanner, uh, pop it in there, hold it on, just screw from the top, and that'll turn the whole thing. Um, I'm going to use a pair of pliers because I don't have a little spanner on me at the minute. So uh, I'll get this done and then we'll come back and we'll uh, finish up. Alright guys, once you've done that, it should look something like this. Um, wasn't too hard to do all together, I just used the screwdriver for the top and the pliers and I just held it a little knot in place and screwed it in. So that wasn't too hard. Uh, it's pretty solid, you know, little flex to centre but overall I'm very happy with quad. I know it's actually very sturdy and it does give that little bit of flex so if you were to crash you know it wouldn't snap right away but yeah there is a little flex and it's good that's not too much but um yeah i am happy with the quad overall it looks very nice it feels very nice and it's i think it's weighing in about 450 grams it's something around that i didn't actually weigh it but i think it's something like that without anything on um, there's just one last step now to complete the actual frame and that is uh, the little uh, things here to hold it from this from flexing when you have the weight of a camera on so um, just get the parts for that a little bit of a racket there alright so you have the parts for that just get these little uh, these little bars and you get the, the plastic things I have these done you just get the little plastic things and the little uh, ball joint and just pop it into place, pop it into the plastic. Once that's done, just screw it onto the end of the uh, screw it onto the end of the plastic here. Just check is the thread right. It looks pretty straight. Just go ahead and tighten that in. Actually, need to hold this. <clears throat> There's a little place on it for holding it because it, it, it is pretty tight when you're tightening it. Oops, that little thing fell out. Right, so um, this is actually going to take a while to screw all these down in. So uh, we'll get all these bars set up and then we'll come back and see what's next. Alright, now once you get the, all the little ball joints into place and the two things screwed on, you can then... Uh, just here at the front is where you apply them. Uh, the top here, this little hole, just pop it in there. And there's different holes down here. You can extend that for your own for the, the stability of this. You can probably like raise it or lower it with pushing against it. So if you want a little angle, you could extend it and put it in this hole and it would bend it down a little. But uh, for now, I'm just going with them in short and I'm going into the first hole here. So just once they're done, you just pop them into the hole. And just when you look at them at the side, make sure that they're not like, make sure that both of them sitting in level. You can see that so that they're not, uh, it's not pulling. Well, if you wanted to, if you wanted it to be pulling, but if you didn't want it to be, make sure it's not on even on each side. So once they're in place, you just get these little, uh, little nuts. Just want to screw them onto the bottom. Have little Loctite on these, so it'll help with that. It's pretty small, it's hard to fiddle with. There we go. And there's two on the top deck up here. These are a little harder to get. That's a little little allen key in there as well that you have to turn. I don't actually have one that's small at the minute. For now I'll just screw them on by hand and I'll tighten them up. So it's that one on. And now for the last one. Oops. The last one over here.
patience for this. This could get to your nerves pretty easy. Oh well, you know, uh, I'll fitter that in a minute. So, and once you get those tight, that just uh, holds that stable. And as I said before, you can extend it out for more stability. But for now, I'm just going to keep them at that setup there. Uh, when I get my Mobius on there, I might want to put it out a little bit. So, um, yeah, that is the whole frame complete uh, for your bed cat. Next video, I will have all the electronics set up and. Then after that, there'll be a couple of flights and planes and setting up the KK2. So, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a like, comment if you have any questions, and subscribe for the next videos coming in the next couple of days. So, uh, yeah, thanks.